Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I am Elder Derek Strickland, and I'm so glad you're right here on the Bible Lessons and Prayers YouTube channel. This is an absolute honor to come to you all with this week's lesson. Um, this is our YPWW lesson, and this is getting up really late, so please forgive me on that. But I am I do want to get this lesson up. It's a very important lesson, and um, it's one that should be taught, should be understood. And um, that's one that you just really need this to understand um, what the title is saying. The title says, God brings us into his presence by his spirit, by his spirit. Before we get, if, get off into this, um, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. And um, definitely uh, leave in the comments where you're watching me from, all right? That's always a blessing to know where our reach is and, you know, who's actually out there watching. Um, if you want to be a part of a Facebook group, um, our Facebook group, uh, link is in the description. If you want to be a blessing to the channel, to, uh, uh, the cash app is in the description as well. So those are there if you so choose to want to do that. So before we get off into this lesson, let's have a short word of prayer and we're going to get off into it. Kind of Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for our point of your spirit. Lord, we thank you uh, for another day. Lord, your grace and your mercy. Lord, we thank you for it. Lord, I just ask that you bless each and every one that is watching right now. I ask that you touch them right now in their homes, in their relationships. Lord, bless their businesses. Bless their health. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. For all you've done and all you get to do, these best acts in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. All right. Uh, the title of the lesson is God brings us into his presence by his spirit. The lesson is found in Ezekiel 3, 10 through 15. Ezekiel 3, 10 through 15. And it reads as thus. And he said unto me, Son of man, listen carefully and take to heart all the words I speak to you. Go now to your people in exile and speak to them. Say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says whether they listen or fail to listen. Then the Spirit lifted me up, and I heard behind me a loud rumbling sound as the glory of the Lord rose from the place where it was standing. It was the sound of the wings of the living creatures brushing against each other and the sound of the wheels beside them, a loud rumbling sound. The Spirit then lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness and in anger of my spirit. With the strong hand of the Lord on me, I came to the exiles who live in Tel, Tel, Aviv, Tel Aviv, near the Kabar River. And there were they living. I sat among them for seven days, deeply distressed. That's uh, Ezekiel 3, um, 10 through 15. And that's out of the uh, New International Version. And... Uh, the lesson, once again, is God brings, up, God brings us into his presence by his spirit. Our memory verse is going to be found in Ezekiel 3 and 12. And it reads, Then the spirit took me up, and I heard behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from his, from his place. All right? <coughs> Excuse me. One of the greatest luxuries available to modern hum, humani, humanity is air travel. Although it, is, although it has its dangers, it has proven to be a quick and safe manner in which to get from place to place. Before the plane can become airborne, the passengers must do certain things. They must fasten their seat belts. They must make sure their dining trays are put back in place. They must return their seats to the upright position. These things must be done before the plane can reach its cruising altitude. For planes, cruising heights are important. By flying on a certain level, they are able to overcome many of the storms and mountains that would ordinarily obstruct their course. So it is the case of Christians. Maintaining a high spiritual altitude enables him or her to, become the, to overcome the obstacles that re relate to daily living. And it, as it is to be expected, there, is, there are certain things that he or she must do in order to become airborne in God. Son of Man is a trans, translation of the Hebrew term Ben Adam. In the book of Ezekiel, it is used to denote the humanity of the prophets. 
The Lord, the Lord applies this title to Ezekiel to remind him that he is like other people. That is to say, God keeps the prophet mindful of his biological connectedness with humankind. The reference to the captive, the captivity pertains to those persons who was part of the first deportation. God, uh, God heard Von Rad, a premier Hebrew Bible scholar, comments that the Israelites were carried to Babylon in stages. The first group left Jerusalem in 597 BC, and the last group left in 587 BC. Only the top 10% of the population was carried to Babylon. The poor and uneducated person were left in Jerusalem. Ezekiel was among the first group of deportees. <coughs> Excuse me. Then the, then the Spirit took me up. These words refer to the prophet being allowed to enter into a realm of the Lord, wherein the Holy Ghost heightened Ezekiel's spiritual awareness, awareness for the purpose of preparing the prophet for a deeper, a deeper spiritual encounter with the Most High. If the Holy Ghost is to lift us, we we must first, number one, recognize our need to be lifted. Number two, number two, recognize our inability to lift ourselves. All right. And number three, recognize the responsibility that comes with being lifted. Since we are human, there are there will be times when we are down. If we if we are ever going to overcome those down times in life, we must access ourselves to the rising power of the Holy Ghost. We must learn to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. The Spirit of God does the rising up. He moves on our mind and elevates us to the point where we can receive what the Lord wants to give us. The Holy Ghost takes us into a realm where the peace of God dwells. Because of that, we must remember that we are unable to lift ourselves. Moreover, we must understand that the Lord reveals himself to us so that we may be of some good to ourselves and to other persons. He gives deep spiritual revelation so that his people can be edified, thus being allowed into the realm of the Most High. Being allowed into the realm of the Most High means that we have an obligation to be of the service to each other. Life is filled with so many disturbing things. Maybe even, maybe even in your own personal churches, there are personal, there are personal personalities, uh, practices, or principles that may cause one to get discouraged. But such is life. That is why God desires to bring us into his presence. He chose to use his spirit as a vehicle to transport us from low flying altitude to higher to higher flying heights. Remember the song phrase. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Jesus lifted us through the Holy Ghost. Pray, praise a mighty God. That is our lesson for today. God brings us into the presence of his spirit. We got six questions, right? Six questions I want to ask you. You can put it down in the comment section. Define the term. That's number one. Define the term Ben Adam. Number two, who was uh, God heard Von Rad? All right. Number three, which group of Israelites were deported? Number four, why, did, why is it imperative that we be lifted by the Holy Ghost? Number five, what do the words, then the Spirit took me up, mean? Number six, what, things, what three things must we do if we want the Holy Ghost to lift us? All right, that is our lesson, the YPWW lesson. God brings us into it. His presence by His Spirit, and I pray that you all got something out of this lesson, and um, really just to know that it is God that lifts you out of the situation, elevates your mind to um, be able to handle the situation, and um, and handling handling the situation by His Spirit. All right, for those of us that really believe and that are believers, we know that um, it is not ourselves that's getting us out of the situation or over the situation. But it is God, by his spirit, that delivers us from different situations. All right?
And once again, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and um, definitely let me know where you're watching from. Once again, if you want to be a part of our Facebook group, there's a link in the description. If you want to be a blessing, uh, there's a cash up there as well. And uh, I look forward to um, doing the next lesson, all right? So let's say a quick word of prayer, and we're going to get out of here. Kind of Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for our point of your spirit. Lord, we thank you for teaching us how to get in your presence. Lord, we thank you for showing us that it's you that lifts us out of the situations that we get in. Lord, just ask that you continue to bless us, make ways and open doors. Lord, ask that you touch the hill, touch the, the sick and afflicted. I ask, you, I ask that you touch, heal, and deliver. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as you see fit. We will forever give your name and praise, glory, and honor. We bless us in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Once again, I am Elder Derek Strickland, and it is my wish for you that you all be blessed. Then go out there and be a blessing. Peace.